the, the weird, weird, the crazy, crazy the, the exciting, exciting stories of the internet. internet. My, My name, name is Wes, Wes and being with me all is the man, the myth, the legend for this business. Alrighty, we're back. Damn. Back at it. Star Valley crew was in the building again. Yes, true. They are returning. <laughs> back again. Wait, how many views are you guys up to now? Uh, on that one song, we have 1.2 million. That's so uh, fucking crazy. But yeah. on the other ones, uh, it's not as much, but, you know, I'm just satisfied with whatever it is. Right? right? Yeah, like, you know. Just, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Dope as hell. Having the one at 1.2 million, did it make all your other ones go up a little bit too? Yeah, like a little bit. Yeah, we did. Like, not like huge that. growths, but like one of them was at like 10K, went up to like <coughs> almost doubled, I think. Yeah. That's so cool. And, so, and we have more followers too. We almost have like 22. We, no, we have over 2,200 on SoundCloud now. So That's Jeez. nice. Going a little, yeah, yeah. Build a nice little thing. Oh, yeah. That's fucking dope. Yeah. You yeah. guys trying to put out more music now? Like, yeah. We're trying. We're we're trying to like. It's really hard because whenever we're, um, in the process of making songs, we just want to put it out, or at least I do. Like, I get really impulsive, and I'm just like, I just I just want to post this. <laughs> but we're trying to save enough materials so we can release a project of some kind. But yeah, it's hard when you just want to. It's going to happen. Though. Yeah, it's going to happen. Definitely. Especially since we spent some money trying to Yeah, like we spent some money on features and so, shit like that. Yeah. So uh, we're definitely going to save those for the first Star Valley mixtape. There you which go. Which everyone should be on the lookout for later this year. Hell yeah. That's cool. So, so I, I see what you're saying. So you, so it's tough to get like, you just want to keep dropping songs over and over. Yeah, like it's hard not to, like once you're done with something. Oh, Fade Sumption. What's up? Fade? What's up? A fade assumption that is actually my girlfriend. Wow. I can tell because of the name <laughs> she chose. <laughs> the name on a lot of things. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> with the little Illuminati eye. Yeah. <laughs> I got five already. Shit. Hell yeah. Five on it. That'd be dope though. Yeah. yeah. Have a nice little mixtape at it's, the end of the year. It's coming eventually. Yeah. I mean, I do have a concern sometimes that a whole tape is going to not do very well compared to how we've done on some of the singles, but I'm yeah. just scared of that because I don't, I've never done that before, so I don't really know how it would go. But right. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Yeah, don't know until you drop it. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. And if it doesn't work, you just change it up and try again. Yeah, exactly. honestly. Yeah. The good thing with the mixtape, though, I mean, imagine if you drop it and it doesn't really do well, you could just release them all as singles again. Yeah, true. You know? We probably would do that. Just, you know. Hey, 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 hey. One for everyone. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> one for Wes McBee, one for oh, Forrest, shit. one for myself, and one for Aaron Rose. I, I mean, uh, Aaron Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, don't sorry. don't yeah. call me that. <laughs> Don't don't fucking call me that. <laughs> what is this from? Uh, um, Matt Duncan. <laughs> he, the past several months, he's developed in a very sick obsession with, like a. A rapper that isn't not that well known, but he admitted to me that when he wakes up in the morning, it's the first thing he hears in his head, <laughs> his, his voice, and he just thinks about him all throughout the day. He tweets about him constantly. <laughs> They've they have conversed in the DMs. Um, Matt is just doing everything he can to be this man's number one fan. <laughs> I think he's succeeding. I think he's succeeding. Yeah, he's but I don't think that's a good thing. Well, I, th- yeah. I think he needs to chill. He even said to me Definitely. that I'm one of his biggest supporters in the world. So when you know it from the first hand source like that, <laughs> it's kind of a different story. <laughs> that's some but. That's some sucker bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what is the... Is his name like Rose or something? His, his name is Aaron Rose. Aaron Rose. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. That's why I like to make the joke sometimes, like, uh, he's Aaron Rose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it makes me mad. Because, <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> and that's kind of an, an inside joke, which is really not one one of the better things to talk about. On the <laughs> no, I like <laughs> it. <laughs> is he a local dude or is no, he? No, no, he's a New York rapper from York? Pro Era. Pro Era, I would say. I think I can speak for ourselves in saying it's both of our favorite groups. Yeah, right? yeah. It's our favorite hip hop group. He's and he's a member of it. He's one of my favorite members of it, and it's his least favorite member of it. Yeah. And so we have a difference there. I mean, just follow me on Twitter. I don't want him to fucking see this shit. That's true. You really I, think I don't, Aaron I don't think he clicked it. I don't think he clicked it. But you never fucking know. That'd like, be he, so funny. He, he watches like, what if they it. They talk about me. I know they both. <laughs> like, I got him to follow me by just. Doing some like ass kissing fuck shit on Twitter, like, <laughs> hey man, I love your shit. And then Matt, I think Matt told him, you told him to follow. Yeah, me I was like, you should follow a good friend there. He's one of your biggest supporters too. Even yeah. though it was so I just got to so. follow. <laughs> <laughs> I saw um, your Twitter post was it today about Matt Duncan music or something? Yes. Uh, <laughs> For a couple of years now, there's actually been this band called Matt Duncan. It's not just an individual artist. It's actually a band called Matt Duncan. <laughs> and for the several years I've known about them, I think that they have sucked that entire time. And I oh, actually you hate... You added them. You tagged them. I did tag them. And did, did you notice that they liked the <laughs> <laughs> they they liked that tweet? So I, I was pretty happy about that. What a shitty name for a band. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know where they came up with the name. Were they just like? It's probably the name of the lead guy, and he's, he's just, just like do. She's like, we'll just call it after me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool, right, yeah, guys? Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, if you if you were to Google that, like Matt Duncan band, like you would hear a bunch of stuff because they have several albums. Well, I'm and gonna look it good. up. <laughs> <laughs> the Matt Duncan band. <laughs> they're just called Matt Duncan, like Matt Duncan. Yeah, like they're called Matt Duncan, not Matt Duncan band, but they are a band. You yeah, know? it's like it's, it's just weird. a weird situation. <laughs> Very weird. I feel like that's not good branding either. Yeah, just an band is just gonna sound like a man's name. <laughs> right. Sorry about our internet tonight, guys. Watching, it's been shit lately. It comes and goes though, so just hang in there. Oh yeah, yeah it looks frozen right there, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll be a little choppy, and then it'll go. How's the audio, though? The audio's fine. Yeah, the audio always really really good. Okay. Yeah. This is, after all, a podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Some podcasts we are lucky enough to see on video, but most we have to endure in the ancient audio <laughs> right? format. And exactly. That's one thing why I'm wondering why podcasts are just now becoming so popular, because it seems like they would have a long time ago. But <laughs> I enjoy them a lot now. Yeah. Yeah, now's a good time for them. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. That's yeah, cool. They've is definitely this? been popping off more than the podcast. Is that the guy? That is him. Yeah. yeah. Matt Duncan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks like I don't even, Oh, I didn't, I've never seen him with that color of hair. That's Just put that as your profile picture. You know what the weirdest thing is? <laughs> it says people also searched for Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> what? It's <laughs> very odd. People who search for Matt Duncan also search for Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> that is the strangest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Do you have anything worth to say about Neil Patrick Harris? I definitely don't have anything worth to say. I think that if anybody in this room were to have something of worth to say about him, it would not be me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you bring us up to speed with what you know about Neil Patrick Harris? Star yes, I can bring you up to speed. I'm having a hard time even thinking of who he is. He's, How I he's Met Your Mother? Barney. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, That's who right. fuck he is. That's right. He's Barney Stinson. How could I possibly forget? <laughs> Barney Stinson you probably have is to someone that I know a lot. For some shit to uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account. But if not, then yeah. It's, it's five. It's four ninety nine. You could sub and get no ads, I yeah, think. The ads are pretty short. Though, actually. Ads are a very unfortunate thing that happen here but I do think that it's worth enduring the ads to obtain the content that is being presented <laughs> right. to you through the podcast. I just wish we were getting fucking ad revenue though. So that's yeah, we don't get ad revenue. Why not? Why don't you get Exactly. I think, I think once you become a Twitch partner, which is not mm-hmm. the easiest thing in the world mm-hmm. then you can start getting ad revenue is that like being a YouTube partner basically yeah, yeah kind of we have to have like 75 our average viewer count every night has to be 75 viewers for mm-hmm. 30 days wow. yeah, so. yeah so it's not the easiest thing in the world to it's say. not the biggest mountain in the world no yeah, you guys I mean, just time basically yeah I think sure. you guys are doing a good job with 
what you have right now. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, we we, you know, a couple of our mods that we talked to said we grew faster than a lot of people, and yeah. we're still like we kind of dipped at the start of March, but you know, yeah, could be a lot of different things with that. Yeah, yeah. that's funny because the same type of shit has happened to us. Like mm-hmm. on SoundCloud, we would just get like a whole bunch of followers, and then we we would go down by like couple hundred yeah. and then go up like it just huh. yeah but now it's higher than ever and what we hope we'll say I don't want to do with any more that yeah. lowering numbers but yeah I think just social media in general it's like it's weird how it goes back yeah. and forth back and forth back and yeah. forth yeah it makes you wonder whether it's people that follow you on a whim and then later on they're like ah oh, no I don't really care about yeah. that <laughs> or, if or like they, they're following you expecting you to follow them back All right. if, if you don't want to follow them back then they're like okay I want to follow your ass. Exactly. I think that's a lot of which, it. Which I yeah. do myself. I mean, yeah. someone doesn't follow me back, and I'm like, I thought they were kind of cool. I'm like, okay. Well, fuck bitch. them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fuck I don't, you. I don't give a fuck. Because <laughs> I definitely don't think it's like they don't fuck with your content. Like, all of a sudden, like they're just like, oh, like, I'm not into these guys. Or yeah. whether it's podcasting or making music. Yeah. Like, I feel like if they follow for like a song or for a podcast they're probably gonna like all the rest of your yeah. shit yeah but I think it's more like yeah. you like yeah people want follow backs I mean yeah. I, I personally am guilty of unfollowing podcasts in my time like maybe there would be one episode that I was interested in on the <laughs> podcast you know? right because yeah. you know how most podcasts kind of have a subject and a focus yeah. and stuff like that so, maybe I wanted to hear the one episode yeah. about the thing that I knew about and then besides <clears throat> that I don't really want to hear anything else or and so I've unsubscribed from them or, or if you like if you really like someone and he, they go on a certain podcast for one episode that's that, happened to me. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm talking what you mean. about. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. yeah, I'm just like, oh, I wanted to see that one with them, and then I maybe watch one or two other ones without them. I'm like, eh, not for me. Yeah, yeah. And podcast is a weird format. Like, it is weird. Like, you have to like the person's voice. It's very yeah. important. Like, if yeah. someone has a shitty voice, it's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck okay. off. Even if I agree, with you, <laughs> yeah, you know. Right. <laughs> I think another thing that's important in podcasts is actually giving each person in the room their own space to talk because yeah. if everybody's talking at the same time, that's going to make it so nobody can understand what's going on. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Like we saw a dis- like. We're very big Joey Badass fans, but he started the podcast venture, and then so far, like, he had one episode, and he just let his guests walk all over him. They were going back and forth, <laughs> back and forth. He, he could not get a word in on his own podcast. Oh, shit. Yeah, like, sucks. he could hardly say shit. I was like... He is brand I, new at, at podcasts. I know, I but think he'll would, get better, but yeah. I don't know. It was definitely disappointing. I was like, damn, we're going to get walked on. <laughs> on own shit. And I think it definitely you need to know, like your limit of people you can have. Yeah. Have you guys, like, ever felt like you've had too many people? Yeah. Yeah, like, if we, uh, we've done five a few times, and if Mm -hmm. we do five, and, like, it's not everyone, like, sometimes we had, like, a kid that wasn't, um, like, it was the first time he's been on, so we were just meeting him, so it's, like, it'll start, like, getting to where, like, this is me, I'll be talking to, like, whoever's sitting here, and then these three talking, so Mm -hmm. just way too much going on at once. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. So. Like, I, I, I went back and watched one. There was a point where um, Bird, no, who was there the night with that other Jordan kid? Yeah, it was. It was yeah, uh, I, I was tuning in that night. I so Bird was talking with Jordan, you were talking with Chandler, and I was talking to the chat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clusterfuck right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I forget. I'm like, oh shit, we're being yeah. recorded right now. Like, yeah, I'll just like go to say something, you know, and then, because they'll be talking, so like say yeah. something real quick, and then. What I think is interesting, something you guys do, is how you just like bring on people who don't fucking know each other yeah <laughs> like, like, yeah. like ch- when Chaz was on here with that kai that kid, kid yeah. I didn't know who he was like anything yeah. can happen yeah, it's, like, yeah it's like that's yeah. why I was stressed I was like wait do they know each other Wes is like I don't think so <laughs> <laughs> because I know Chaz I've known Chaz since yeah. like 2008 so I was yeah. like okay this is just one of Chaz's friends or whatever and then yeah. I texted Chaz about it, something about it later and he was like he was like, "Yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually know that kid." And I was like, oh, yeah. really? But I wanted to see. <laughs> I what was would, funny. I, I wanted to see what would happen, and come to find out, they're both like big movie buffs. Yeah, and... yeah, that's really strange. You get two yeah. movie buffs that big because yeah, I, I think I watched the, the, I don't know, I don't know, I don't think I watched it live, but I, I watched a little bit of it live, and then I went back yeah. to rewatch it because, um, yeah, and um, 
I was like, wow, they actually have more in common than you'd expect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Two random right. Joes off the street who like <laughs> both have yeah. all this knowledge about film directors and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like, felt bad because we were going like on uh, quite a tangent about psychedelics and different drugs and Chaz. You know, he never. He has no experience. Yeah, he it. didn't have any experience and didn't yeah. have any like desire of doing it. Yeah. So we were like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. But that actually does remind me of something else I wanted to bring up. Uh, I mean, you know, you have us on here as not only Matt Duncan and Aaron Palmer, but also as Star Valley crew. Exactly. Right? And it's it's kind of funny. Right before we headed over here today, we were hanging out with two other people who also happened to be members of Star Valley crew. And they're like, ooh, we want to be on the podcast. And I'm like, ah, you know what, man? Like, I bet they would let you on, but you you have to to let them know and let them schedule you yeah. in order to be on here. And so I think that they might be interested in coming on yeah. one day. But definitely, if so, we want to make sure that it's a very controlled environment because we don't yeah. want to make it a, a clusterfuck like you were just right. yeah yeah yeah. Where everybody's talking to someone else. So do you guys want to do all four of you together, or do you want just those two to come on by themselves? Um, because we could try and swing. Everybody. I, I would but. say either or. I would say if they want to come by themselves as brothers, they're brothers, by the way. Who are they? Nathan and Ivan Hunt. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know them. Yeah. Uh, or familiar with them. Yeah. They're from, they are uh, actually part of the crew. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I think that they would like to come on because yeah. they really wanted to come on tonight, but I had to tell them, guys. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, we want to just show up with... I think Nathan's low-key trolled me since, like, seventh grade for some fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> he just does it to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's two were, like, yin and yang to each other's personalities, I thought. What, Salty, uh, Chaz, and Kai that one night? What's up, Dingo Hawk? How's it going, my man? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I felt, too. I was like, yeah, it was weird, because they were just new like both of them knew a shit ton about movies and knew all the directors and stuff I was like yeah, yeah. I was like so I don't know any of these <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and then our computer went to shit just randomly oh yeah I remember off. when I tuned in it was like frozen yeah that sucked yeah it was awful because we were just sitting here and it popped up a warning it was telling me obviously it was probably going to turn off but the warning had no words to it so it just like popped up a little window but there was nothing it didn't say anything so we're like Okay, that's weird. Just close out of it. <laughs> <Brax> <laughs> the computer just died. Brax Dohim, I just have to call attention to him. He's in here. He is a member of Star Valley Crew, and so the fact that he is in here right now oh, commenting, shit. I feel like that needs to be made light of. Oh, what's yeah. up? Hi, Hi Brax Dohim. What's, uh, what's up? How's it going? Welcome, welcome my dude. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to the, the stream. Yeah, we'll be in talks with you to come on the podcast, sir. Is that, which one is that? Which brother? That, that one's Ivan. Ivan? It's the older one. Yeah. See, and we went to school. I He was in your guys' grade, yeah, I believe. Yeah, but I don't think I ever conversed yeah, he, with he Ivan was a, before. He was, he was quiet in high school. Me and him became friends when I was a junior. He was a senior. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he's, oh, we're he's, definitely he's down. a unique figure, I would say. Yeah. I was telling uh, Wesley about uh, Morgan. That's your roommate, right? That's his name? It is, yeah. I was telling him about the old Carrie Fisher poster he had oh, the time yeah. I oh it. god <laughs> it was so bad I hate didn't you poster. puke on it <laughs> didn't what did, you puked on that poster huh? I did actually. <laughs> I did of, of, of Carrie Fisher when I she was like 60 something years old all over that old. poster and thank god it had to be taken down because that was such an ugly poster <laughs> like, no disrespect to the dead I really, I really do think that she's a great woman but it, what by, you know, by that time by the time that the photo was taken <laughs> she was not supposed to be put on a poster. Yeah, like and the thing is, he meant to buy the one from like the seventies, like <laughs> yeah. the old one. Like, yeah, one the, you know what I mean. And that's what it said because you know how you buy posters and it has like the code you have to get the yeah. from. And then he went home and hung it up, and it's just this old ass. <laughs> Oh, that's he, so he, funny. He just had it in his room, and I was just like, "This is some bullshit." Why did Faith Assumption say Morgan? Is he in here or something? No, just because he was mentioned, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, Wes, you owe me and Forrest a beer chug for my birthday. Yeah, right? I do. Who's he? Um, he's just a follower. It was oh, his birthday, okay. and I told him that we would chug beers. And I, I didn't. Up, I ended up not being on that podcast that night. Oh, shit. Yeah. I didn't recall doing this, but he came in and said I had to chug a beer, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anything for the views. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do whatever. Any. I'll suck Wesley's dick. <laughs> <laughs> All we have is Forrest 40 ounce, and I'm not going to chug his 40 ounce. It's not full. I'll chug it down to like 12, and you can chug the rest. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, but... I was going to say, we can Just definitely... measure it out. We'll get one of the old beer bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely chug a beer for you this weekend. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Fuck that poster. <laughs> yeah, that poster was some bullshit. And I moved it one day. I moved it. You so moved it to the stair. Yeah, area. I moved it so like and you're walking up the stairs. And that's why I it. And Matt, if you hadn't moved it there, I wouldn't have thrown up. That, on that's, it. that's true. It was just in Matt's blind direction. He had a projectile on me. All of <laughs> Carrie Fisher's dead ass. Face. <laughs> Unfortunately, that did happen. It, it did happen. Was it I, from drinking, or what was it from? I really hate to say what it was from. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but, but let me leave it at this. It was not from drinking. Okay. No, no. But it also wasn't from any type of natural thing like food poisoning or the flu. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just going to leave it at that. That's yeah. cool. funny. <laughs> Her dead ass face. <laughs> oh, so fucked up. <laughs> oh, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> Rip the princess. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh. Her mom died right after her and shit, though. Oh yeah. yeah. Do you oh. see the fucking video of her dog? <laughs> no. Oh, well, this <laughs> what is. Do you mean? It's the saddest shit. So Carrie Fisher had a dog, and I guess it was like you know. Yeah. She took it everywhere. Yeah. They took the dog to go see the latest Star Wars, and when it fucking heard her voice, it was like like moaning and shit. The oh dog. god, that's sad. As I was like, oh man, <laughs> that's hardcore. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Like I've seen videos of dogs like crying at their owners' graves. Oh yeah, yeah there's the husky one. Yeah, that's the one I've seen. I oh. see those and I just scroll right on past. You're I don't, right. I don't yeah, need I do the sadness. Same thing. When I see sad, clickbait shit, I'm just like, no, nope. not for me. I, like I'm happy now. Don't want to be sad. Yeah. I saw one was like nine out of ten won't make it past this military come home video. I'm like, like not gonna watch it. I'm <laughs> like, well, I guess some one of the two. Right. <laughs> Barry Emote looks to be censored on Xbox. That's fucking hilarious. Fuck Mary Kill Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, and Queen Elizabeth. Marrying Queen Elizabeth, killing Donald Trump, fucking Hillary. Ugh, fuck Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> marry Donald Trump, and kill Hillary. So mm. I get a rich dude, and I get a fuck the queen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I probably... Uh, don't you want to marry the queen, though? No, I want to fuck her. Just once. Just once. <laughs> one time. But then I become oh. the first... First man... The first first man. <laughs> the first first man. You would be the first first The first man. first gay man. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's actually... You would be. <laughs> like, well, he's straight, but he's married to a dude, so... Married to a rich man. <laughs> a... Some rich guy that talks about China. <laughs> <laughs> now I ain't saying you a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Donald! Need a new Benz. He wants the 90-year-old <laughs> puss. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, yeah. Who gets to say they fuck the Queen of England? <laughs> Probably the king. Oh, oh shit. shit. Being married Rip. to Hillary Clinton, though, I, I will say I think that would be probably pretty unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wanted to ask you, though, this is a Top Shelfers-related topic. I don't know if you guys mind no, ask talking no. about Top Shelfers-related topics no. on the Top Shelfers show. No, not at all. <laughs> ask it's, away. It's a Top Shelfers-related question. So the Top Shelfers-related question that I have this evening is about the most recent poll that was put together by you guys. Now, this poll said, should America ban... ARs. Yeah. And if I'm correct by this, you mean assault style weapons. Yes. Yes. Twenty two percent have said yes. Seventy eight percent have said no. The poll ends in five days. To be honest, in light of recent events, I would have expected Yeah, I was a, a bit, bit surprised by the results. I was I'm well, shocked actually, by yeah. every fucking one of them. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's I, like, I, maybe it's I was just like your the one person your audience. I, I believe I was the one person that voted no on the poll that the government is listening to the <laughs> conversations. Like I do think that government listens to shit they shouldn't listen to, but like mm. me and nobody, like 
I don't know. I don't think they give a fuck about what I'm doing. I don't think they're tapping into my shit. <laughs> so I that's why that. I, vo- I voted no on that. And then I was like, damn, everyone thinks the government is listening <laughs> yeah. to their shit on yeah. this poll. Everyone. Well, here's the thing, though, is I thought at first it would probably be our demographic, but the Facebook is just all peers. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't know probably, like... 70% of the people. Yeah. How many friends do you guys have on that account? A thousand something. Okay. That's a pretty good yeah. S- size. Yeah, like a lot of people are seeing your shit and like, hmm, what is this shit? That's what I'm hoping, but yeah. no one ever fucking does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they take the polls, but other than that, they're okay. Yeah, they take the polls. But, and then the funniest is when I, I deleted my Facebook today just because I got sick of seeing dumb shit. I was like, oh, God, I'm sick of these people. So I deleted it today. But um, the funniest just is when people think it's one person. Like oh yeah that one do you see the one girl I had to fucking roast her a minute <laughs> yeah oh yeah I've seen I I misread what she was saying what she meant too like at first I was like who this bitch talking shit but yeah. she was, she was like using our post to talk shit on her Facebook friends yeah she's like I she's like you guys are smarter than I thought and it made it seem like uh she was like saying what she thought we were dumb or something yeah <laughs> so I was like no that ain't gonna fly ain't about yeah. to call us fucking dumb yeah. but then she's like no I was just meant like. Yeah. The people that voted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, this bitch. How did you come up with the name Top Shelfers? Um, <clears throat> I asked the same question, Faith. <laughs> yeah, so I thought, like, Top Shelf alcohol is always the best. So maybe, like, Top Shelf <coughs> content, you know, it kind of goes with it. Plus, alcohol and weed all have a Top Shelf thing. And, yeah. Uh, you know, Forrest My- likes alcohol. <laughs> yeah. I like marijuana. I like yeah. whiskey. Yeah. So I, I have a small <laughs> short story that actually could relate to that. Yeah. My dad used to buy uh, some ice cream and things of that nature, uh, and he would buy some of the cheaper ice cream and then some of the more fancy ice cream. And re- when referring to the more fancy ice cream, he would say, "Now this right here is a top shelf item," <laughs> and he would literally put it on the top shelf of the freezer, <laughs> and that meant that I wasn't allowed to have it. Oh anymore. shit! So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's another way that it could be perceived. Oh, yeah. oh here's a good fuck Mary kill at Salty Frank at Dozer Gamers at Wes. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Okay. I would. I believe that I would. Mary Wes. <laughs> I'd, I'd fuck... Well, I don't know. Maybe I'd fuck... I don't know. I don't know Sal- Salty Frank well enough to marry him. Definitely not. I'd probably fuck Salty Frank, and I don't really know Dawser's gamers, so you're probably going to have to go. I, 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 I know you the least, so that's yeah. just... I know all these people so little. <laughs> so the only person I know at all is Wes. Yeah, but like you... And but not like, getting killed! It's just you, a you, flip of a coin. Yeah. You, you gotta marry the only one you've met unless <laughs> they're like a shitty person, which most is not, yeah. so... Here we go. Marrying Salty Frank, fucking Dozer Gamers, kill myself. <laughs> 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 all in that order. Oh, God, yeah. I don't know. Hey, fellas, I'm eating dinner. Euphoric, I was watching you eat lunch. This yeah, what's strange. That? He's a chef. I like it. I'd molest Salty Frank left nip- left Fr- Salty Frank's left nipple. Sam. Sam. Do you know what's funny though? It's just we're the top shelfers, but I'm drinking a two dollar bottle of forty <laughs> ounce beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite Miller. top shelf there. But... <laughs> no way, dude, it says genuine draft. Yeah, it's not Miller uh oh, what is it? What's the champagne of beers? High life? Yeah, Miller High Life. The champagne of beers. <laughs> so what Going back to what you were saying about the poll, are you shocked by... You were shocked by the I results. I was extremely shocked by the I results. was, too. I thought... So, I'm not going to lie. I'm making these polls to try and get people, like, talking. And hopefully <laughs> yeah. if they start talking enough, they'll be like, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> yeah. And they'll Sometimes come look at our really, content. Yeah. yeah. No one's really talking that much, <laughs> but they're taking the polls. But they're voting, yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. I thought that it was going to be... Flip flop on that one. I, was, I thought it was going to be maybe somewhere around 60 40. Maybe, yeah. maybe 60 <clears throat> in favor of more gun control. Yeah, yeah like, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, too. I was I, thinking, me too. Like, yeah, I, I was expecting it to be somewhere around there. So when I saw that the vast majority don't support <coughs> like any type of regulation on the ARs or you know, like banning the AR. We are in Utah, though, yeah. where yeah, the only okay. amendment anyone knows is the fucking second. <laughs> 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 Not everyone here is a big fan of Mr. 
David Hogg. In this <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are up to speed with him and his yeah. friends. Yeah. Good old David. Yeah. I love David Hogg. I think that he is uh, kind of inspiring. I may not agree with everything that he Do you says, think he's real or, but or do you think it's fake? I don't know. I don't... Okay. Here's what I will say about David Hogg. I think that to say that he's a crisis actor would be taking it a bit far. But I do think, however, that the media has guided him, oh, helped yeah. him script certain things, and his narrative that he wanted to push aided him in being one of the most focused on people that was a survivor of that massacre. Yeah. Some of those poor kids, though, they're taking such advantage of. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Just putting them in the spotlight, like, here, say this, say this. I'm like, yeah. You can tell some of them just don't want to fucking be there. David yeah. Hogg is um, a brainwashed attention. <laughs> I, oh, shit. I actually sort of agree, but he's very serious all the time. Yeah, he's yeah. very serious. Like, I, I do think he's like, pretty serious about his message, but like, he just, he's very... Uh, <laughs> He's already scripted. Like he has yeah. big things that he repeats in interviews. Yeah, he like said a million times. A million times he said, "We found out it was anything but a drill." <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there are You'll YouTube videos of him just that. repeating himself. Like <laughs> it happened. At, it happened. At, like all his interviews are the exact same. So I just don't understand why you could, yeah. he's still in the spotlight. Has but, anybody seen um, the video of him in California and the boogie board story of the lifeguard? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so this this is why people ca- were calling him a crisis actor initially. Yeah. There was a news story, I believe it was in L.A., and it, I think it was about a year ago. Yeah. And it was on... The, this was on the news in L.A. Local news the lo- LA. The local L.A. news. And it was about an argument between... David Hogg's friend and a lifeguard at the beach because mm. David Hogg's friend had put his um, surfboard on the garbage can. It was his boogie board. Yeah, his boogie board, whatever. And because he didn't want it to get sandy, is, yeah. is, what, is what they said. And he and there was an argument, and it showed footage of the lifeguard yelling at them and calling them snowflakes. <laughs> and you, you, can, you can look the video up and... And um, this is a year before the shooting, and David Hogg is like, we, we felt threatened for our lives. like, he, <laughs> And so, like, when I first started seeing that shit, I was like, this is really weird. Why would something so stupid and pointless be on the L.A. news? Yeah. It's right. actual real crime. Like, that wouldn't be on the KSL news. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd be more shocked. But I, would, I, I also would not call him a crisis actor. I think he was... I, I just... But I do think that he... Um, yeah. Maybe... Maybe not calling him a crisis actor, but maybe when they started interviewing people, they saw that he had like some sort of stage presence. Exactly. Yeah. And like, even though, Let's he, go even with though this I kid. don't think he does, he's kind of non charismatic. Yeah, the, yeah. the like, bald bitch. She. she and she's more charismatic <laughs> to me. Like, yeah. I, 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 Emma, feel more, bitch. I feel more like she believes what she. Emma Gonzalez is yeah, a lot more yeah. passionate than David Hogg. That's he, true. He sounds like <laughs> a robot at times. Who's Emma Gonzalez? I just know her she's as the bald, bald bitch. She's the bald bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's a. Smash your pass for us. Smash. All day. Pass. Uh, <laughs> Dozer's got a different one. Get high with, play games with, fight. Emma Watson, Camilla Cabana, is she the Fifth Harmony bitch that left? I have no uh, idea. Yes, she is. She is. And Kim you, Kardashian. You um, getting high with Kim Kardashian. Me too. Me hoping too, me Kanye's too. there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Play games with Emma Watson. I'm going to fight Camilla. She's gonna get beat. That's a I, I, I fight him. Oh, I don't know if right? No one Fuck you, Hermione. Yeah, <laughs> she's so bad. She's really small. <laughs> she is. She is a small girl. I don't want to fight any of these fucking girls. Right? Yeah, I don't know why. I, th- I thought there would be like a different option than fight at the end. Of yeah, I was like, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna fight Kim and then tell when Kanye shows up. I drive her half fuller, bitch. <laughs> Still, a David Hogg has says it. He doesn't want guns taken away. He wants more gun safety laws, but everything he says is twisted by the media. Oh, that one thing I did, that someone commented on the poll, and they're like, um, if you want, um, what do you say, if you want ER's banned, please elaborate. And Yeah. Something. Oh, yeah, Matt. And I was going to just Can start trolling that? people, be like, the only one that can take the guns is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think? About the AR thing? Yeah. Uh, personally, where I stand on it is that I'm a pro-Second Amendment person. Uh, like, Ultimately, I'm a believer that um, 
like confiscating guns is not really a solution to the problem because of the huge black market. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, we are obviously Ooh. facing a crisis in this country like none other as far as mass shootings go. We have way more than anybody it's, else. And I do think that it's a multifaceted problem. You can't just look at it and say, oh, it's mental health or, oh, it's guns. Or, yeah, oh, it's multiple. For sure. You have to try everything you can. And so I think at least, like, raising the ages, you know, like eliminating the bump stocks, things like that. I agree with those, I, yeah. I'm, I'm in support of common yeah. sense, things like that. But I think <laughs> that really... Common sense good enough. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a cliche phrase, but <laughs> I think it's actually one that applies, you know? Like, it does, it does. You want to hear a wild theory that I've been working on in my head? What? Social media has an age restriction that you have to abide by. What is that? Oh, so like, like, like you have 18? to be like 18 years old to be able to have a social media and partake in social media. Like, this is something you're like proposing, kind of? Yeah, I'm proposing. I've never heard anyone talk about it. Oh, someone. Hey, thanks for the host, whoever's hosting. Dozer. Thank you for the host, Dozer. Um, Dozer, The reason why I'm saying that is it seems like since social media, there's been a lot of bump and shootings in schools. Or just these kids are fucking crazy. Yeah, these kids are going fucking crazy. They're eating Tide Pods. There was another shooting, what, today or yesterday? School shooting in Alabama? I think there was one today. Yeah, today. He shot, like, one person, like, his girlfriend or something. There was one person that was dead, I heard, or something, yeah. But it's fucking wild. So what if we put an age restriction on social media so kids can't get consumed by it? Less bullying. That would be interesting. Like, I know bullying is still going to happen. There's never going to be a point in time where bullying is not something that but happens. But if, if the age restriction were 18, that wouldn't have prevented Nicholas Cruz because he was 19. Yeah. You know. Well, no, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that You're it would stop that, that, but maybe stop the younger generations because they're not going to be able to use social media. Maybe there's going to be less crazy shit going on. I don't know. It's still something that I'm still, like, yeah, I <coughs> trying I like to come up with. I like a lot of them with. would just... Um, Lie, lie about yeah. their age, and there'd still be a lot of kids on there. But if if there was a way where people could, like, make sure, like, verify their age, and not just you could put whatever on your yeah. birthday. Because I think memes are really dumbing down a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy memes a whole lot, but I mean, we had kids putting Tide Pods in their mouths. Like, that's not a joke. Yeah, <laughs> like it's. Kid, that like, shouldn't be something that is being said yeah but then there's it. dudes our age smoking Tide Pods in their dab rig they're oh god is that really going on <laughs> they're extra stupid <laughs> yeah but like for example like my little cousin he's like 6 or 7 he was talking about like the condom challenge had no idea what a condom was yeah but he was all like yeah we should all do the condom challenge and I, my cousin's like fuck you just say <laughs> and like he doesn't know what a condom is but he's like like, they're getting introduced to these different things because of memes. Yeah. I don't know. Just an idea. Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. I've never really thought of that myself. Did you see today that, or was it today or yesterday, a kid that was getting ready to bomb a school here in Utah? He had bombs he was I setting heard up about in. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He had bombs where? Yeah, it's, I don't know what kind of bombs they were, but it was one of the schools here in Utah. He was going to wow. bomb it. And there have been a lot of threats made towards schools lately. <laughs> a shit ton. They yeah. keep getting arrested. They put on, like, Snapchat. a lot of them Snapchat, like, yeah. them holding guns, get yeah. ready Monday. I've heard about a lot of it's that. Like, you don't do that. Like, even if it's a joke, yeah, you don't do so that stupid. right after yeah. a school. It's very easy to get arrested. Yeah. yeah. Would you rather ha- rather get HIV or suck two dicks of your best friend, or suck two of your best friend's dicks to save your life? I'm easily sucking dick. Yeah, we're getting... I'll suck three dicks, dude. Don't challenge, <laughs> Don't challenge me, dozer. I'll suck this whole room's dick three times. <laughs> right? I don't give a fuck. Don't ask me how this saves your lives, what you think. <laughs> I'd suck dicks. <laughs> Yeah, Salty says, ARs are designed to kill people, but the Second Amendment was originally made in case the people needed to revolt against the government. Kind of like Ben Shapiro said, he's Jewish and his grandparents in Germany never thought they, the government was going to betray them. Yeah, that's true, but I don't know, like, a lot of people, like, I agree, there's no, you don't need most of these guns. But, like, you know? Yeah. No, you don't, but at the same I mean, time, we, the, the restrictions aren't going to yeah. help them. No, that's what I agree with. Like, like people saying they need the guns and stuff, like, I disagree with that. You don't need it, but, like, there's no, you know, like, yeah. nothing's going to stop this yeah. stuff from happening, really. Yeah, I mean, they, the, gun, the guns exist, and 
Yeah. Well, and Cause... sadly, it's not the people who are responsible with their guns who want these guns because they either they collect or it's their hobby. They're mm. taking hits because of all the people who aren't responsible. Yeah. yeah. Well, the funny thing about like bump stocks and stuff is like how no one sold bump stocks. Like, or like this dude was talking about um, prior to the Vegas shooting. Um, he had them all these bump stocks on his shelf and sold one in like five years. And then after that, all of a sudden he sold out immediately. It's like no one wants these things until after something happens. Yeah. Cause yeah, I didn't know what a bump stock was until me neither. Very very recently. <laughs> Same. I like post Florida shooting. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I had no idea. I was like, what the fuck. Like I saw Thomas posting about like that and the Hellfire trigger. I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? He knew what it was, but your belt loop can be. Yeah, Thomas yeah. knows a lot about guns. It seems like. Yeah, he knows a lot about. He does A lot of random stuff. collect guns in. Yeah, in like, he has a bunch of, like... I see him on his Snapchat sometimes. Like, yeah, he's got this cool like old that. revolver his grandpa gave him that was, like, FBI-issued revolver. It's dope, I saw yeah. that one. Why cool. don't you read my girlfriend's <coughs> comment because it's on your theory. Okay. Uh, I don't like to. Fuck. Age restriction in the internet might be good just because so many kids aren't even having childhood spending time outside and shit anymore, just always on their phones or I Nintendos. Agree. True. And what's up, Yarl? Should the government become... Uh, tyrannical, at least let me die in defiance with the barrel of my AR down the barrel of my M1 Abraham. <laughs> of an M1 Abraham Abrams. So, I I've also started talking about this thing that I think us ninety who were born in the nineties are, and it sounds arrogant to say, but we're like a special breed because we grew up. Our childhood consisted of still going outside. Like I think a lot of us probably have good memories of going outside. I have quite a few. Yeah, I do too. I was a pretty early internet kid. <laughs> I was I was in the AOL I was popping in the AOL chat rooms oh. in like 2002. Yeah. Like, I was like yeah. eight. <laughs> but I, I definitely went outside more yeah. than I do now. Like, But yeah, I, you see what I mean? Like, yeah, I there's still I, I have tons of memories of like, you know, still going outside. But we're also the age group who were 100% efficient with the internet. Yeah. And there's not going to be any other age groups like that. You know, the kids who are getting born in 2007 and later, they're not going to know that. They're all going to be internet kids. Oh, I talked to you on VR. Right. <laughs> well, and I think there's pros and cons. Like, my little cousin, that's he's all internet. Like, he's paler than a fucking ghost because he doesn't go outside. <laughs> that's how but I am. He, he, can like, <laughs> he can, like, speak almost fluent Spanish already. Oh, he's like that's six. interesting. Because he watches YouTube tutorials on stuff. What? He's how old? Like six or seven. Wow. So, Fluently I mean, there's... You said? What? Fluently, you said? Pretty much. That's crazy. So, I mean, there there's pros and cons of, like, this weird shit. Like, they don't get this outside life, but maybe their brain's a little bit smart. I don't know. They but, sure talk a lot of shit online, those little yeah, kids. They do. You're playing Xbox and, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Most of our trolls are probably little kids. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. A lot of Good people boy, talk about this tyrannical government, how we need to revolt, but no one's doing anything about the police shit that's going on right now. Like, did you see 349 New York police officers committed from fireable and chargeable offenses last year? All of them still have their jobs? Yeah. I f- fucking hate police So, officers. like, everyone's like, we need to stop against the government. The government's already doing shit to us yeah. right now. Like, why aren't, you know, they, everyone says Police that. are just fucking government drones. Honestly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, and I, ju- I just don't think that there's someone who's, like, who's stepping up to do it. Yeah. We don't have yeah, a No one wants to take a fucking bullet. No, <laughs> one, uh, no one wants that. And most of the people that are super, like, you know, like, I'm pro-gun for sure, but, like, the people that are, like, super, you know, over-the-top pro-gun, yeah, we're, like, yeah, they're all about the, the cops, too. Like, you'll see them, like, marijuana's the devil and yeah, kill these druggies. Uh, it's like, hey, all right. An- another thing about the whole uh, Florida shooting is those cops that were involved with that situation were complete pussies. Yeah. Like, they didn't go in for how long? Like They were Columbine-style cops. Yeah, just, just like the Columbine. Just like the Columbine. They waited for a really long time, time after everyone was already dead. Yep. And then... Scott Peterson could have gone in immediately. And I, I personally believe... Say the sheriff? 
He was the school resource officer. Yeah, the one that went and hid. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Fucking pussy yeah. shit. That's he went. The, he oh. knew what was going on, and he didn't do anything. But do you know what the crazy thing is? Have you heard a bunch of the stories now? Like people think there was another kid with him that because uh, like they found like the stuff he had, but a lot of the stories that came out was someone wearing um a SWAT like not SWAT outfit, but SWAT. They were wearing a full on SWAT helmet and stuff. Like most of the stories were that, but that's not what the kid had. Mm. So someone think like most of the people like he had a friend with him. There's like weird. a few of them said he had a friend with him. Interesting. So like who knows maybe. I feel like these last several shootings have had a lot of weird um, conspiracies. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The I th- one... I think this, especially this last one before the park one, the Las Vegas one. Yeah, that one's so crazy. Many, many, many unanswered questions. Very. The that. police kept changing their stories. Yeah. and yeah. Matt is of the belief that that shooting was committed in the name of gun control, like trying to wake people like up. Like a false flag kind of thing going like, on? Well, more in the fact, like, uh, I support gun control... And I'm going to make you support gun control, too, or the rest of the country by showing you how I can wreak havoc using these guns and these uh, kind of... Yeah, I got gotcha. you. ...more powerful, yeah. you know. With uh, Stephen Paddock. That's who yeah. I'm talking about? <coughs> That's who I'm talking yeah. about, yeah. yeah. Good old Stephen Paddock. And Stephen Paddock, if you were unaware, his brother Bruce Paddock was recently arrested on child pornography yeah. charges. His brother was nice. a... They were, they were a weird, like... They the interviews, strange family. Yeah. yeah, like it, the wasn't the dad like an old smuggler or old? You what? I said like everyone's forgotten about them already. Oh yeah, that's, that's the world. Them. That's yeah. the fucking America we live in. Like a whole lot of thoughts and prayers for a week. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, it seems like Parkland is sticking around a bit more. Yeah, it's having yeah. a bit more longevity, and I don't know why yeah. because not nearly as many people died. But I think what I think it's, it's showing cause they, it's because of these kids. It's it's the kids. And, yeah. Um, he got yeah. his kids up on Oprah and Ellen and shit, and it's. I don't know. Well, I mean, and I think, like, what was the last school shooting before that? It was, uh... There was a... Sandy, Sandy Hook, Hook. I believe. They are too young. <laughs> yeah, those are first graders. Like, they're not gonna start a movement. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Virginia Tech shooting way back then, uh, th- there could have been a movement started by college students then, I guess. So yeah. A lot of people died in that. Yeah. I think college students are just discredited now because people just think they're... University lifestyle is not any other lifestyle that is realistic anywhere yeah. except university. Yeah. Like, it's, I don't know, it's just strange now. I mean, think about it. If there was a revolution again, it would be so simple this time. I don't care how big of a caliber my rifle is. I can't shoot down a Predator drone, an A-10, or an Abrams. It's true. Like Yeah, Salty Frank's right also. Like, there are much... There are school shootings we don't hear about, but... I feel like they're not yeah. really mass shootings, so... Yeah. Like, honestly, like, you hear about one person dying, and you're just kind of like, oh, like, oh only one. <laughs> it's sad, but yeah. yeah. Sometimes only two or three people die. I yeah. Think, yeah. I think yeah. five is yeah, when they, right. they start, like, really making it like, a oh. national news story. <laughs> right. Yeah. <coughs> there was this guy named, I believe, T.J. Lane, who went into his school in Ohio, and I believe he killed three people, and that was... When was that? A couple of years ago, oh, I've never exactly. heard of this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, definitely, that, that was a it's smaller crazy. one for sure. So, and of course, you know, Kip Kinkle. That was a little bit before yeah, Columbine. He got completely overshadowed by Columbine. But <laughs> no. Also, he did a terrible job. He only got like four bodies. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> he killed both of his parents, and then he yeah, went he to killed his, his parents and two students. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Or at least I read about that. Yeah. yeah, I just barely. I didn't know about it until recently. Dude, yeah. yeah, stuff like that's interesting. Like, yeah, I've the, been getting really interested in Columbine lately. Yeah, yeah, they were, they were, they were some pretty fucked up kids. Yeah, yeah they disturbed were. young yeah. men. That's back when they were blaming on Marilyn Manson. Yeah. Wasn't it Marilyn Manson and Doom? Yeah, Marilyn Manson and the Doom. Game Doom. Yeah. yeah. And, let's see, was there anything else that was blamed? Yeah, like uh, de- they were definitely uh, inspired by like NBK that movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, like, uh, yeah. Also, like I think Nine Inch Nails even. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I wanna fuck you like an, an animal. animal. Yeah. <laughs> He's just singing that going down. Yeah. And I know they were also hugely inspired by Timothy McVeigh because, as you know, Columbine was actually not supposed to be a big shooting. It was a failed bombing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, a yeah. friend of a friend was in school shooting about five years back. 
that wasn't reported on, gang members initiate pulled fire alarm, and then other members did a drive-by. Fortunately, they missed. It's because they're always holding their gun sideways. They can't yeah. aim. <laughs> and, like, also another thing I, I didn't even think of until now, but I guess school shootings in places like Baltimore, stuff like that, Chicago... Like yeah, really, or like really no one high death tolls like those shootings just don't get reported because no, it's not just at all. every day for those people. Well, yeah, it's I a just really think I, <laughs> I heard too that the cops and ambulances won't even take in gangbangers who get shot because it's like there's so many who get shot, and it's they look at him as like a nuisance. Like, why would I resuscitate or save this kid's life because he's just gonna go out yeah, and gangbang? And you're like risking your own life possibly. Yeah. The sad part is like sucks. They they're picking and choosing, just judging these people. Yeah. Like, yeah. I bet you're a criminal. Not yeah. saving you. Yeah, I bet there've been so many people who are like, not gangbangers. You probably anyway. sell the marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked. I'm curious to know what your guys' answers on the rest of these polls are now that you brought that up. Uh, they're, they're, you're probably going to find some interesting answers on. Yeah. There, there may be some you disagree with. Maybe some. Yeah, that's with that's a nice well. part though. Like, yeah. yeah. I like like you know hearing other people's side of things. Like and even let, if we disagree, I like I like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm the same way. And let me know if I haven't voted on any of them. I want to. Yeah, I think I'm, I may have missed a couple too. Right, <laughs> so, so, I don't even. Sometimes I don't even like my own posts. <laughs> <laughs> so are ghost spirits demons real? Um. You, I think you pulled it and you said no. Oh, does it show you what they say? Oh, yeah, it does. It does. I, wait, does everyone get to see or it's just fun. us? I just think just yeah, us. Yeah, I can't see oh, okay. what it says. And you didn't <coughs> pull Because that'd be one. funny. Sometimes I just vote. I didn't answer that <laughs> Sometimes one. Sometimes uh-uh. I don't really vote truthfully. I need to go down, down the list and answer the ones that I have. So did I. <laughs> yeah. Just to see what everyone else said. Yeah. Like. And, and you like, can I'm ask me about any any of them that you want if you so desire a disagreement is a bridge that is built to land of compromise. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Arl. Very well put. The polls are on their, on their Facebook page? Yeah, on yeah. our Facebook page. Yes, sir. What do you guys think? Ghost spirits, demons real? Any of them? Or maybe not necessarily in that type I'm of... I'm more on the skeptic side. And <laughs> Me what, too. What I'll say about it is that if, if, I, if I see it, I'll believe it. Yeah. But yeah. I don't think I'm going to see it. I would like to know. believe really bad. Like, so let me ask you guys this. What do you think the percentages are on this? There's 41 votes. Of the people said yes. I think more people say that, you, that yes, they Yeah, I think there was yeah. like... It's 93% say yes. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> that, which is weird, I think it? I voted no on that, possibly. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck those Yeah, I just want to fucking dis- destroy people's hope <laughs> yeah. on your fucking shit. You might not be able to pull on these ones, Matt, because they're... Oh, or they've already they've expired. Yeah. And she, yeah. Well, there there was a really interesting one here. Do you think the government hides information from us? Ninety nine percent. Yeah, I think I was the only so person yes. who uh, <laughs> <laughs> voted, voted no. no. You voted no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Were you serious? <laughs> well, I mean, I think that they listened to two people's shit. But oh, is, different one. He, there's a different one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This Sorry. one was, do you think the government hides information from oh. us? <laughs> wait, did I vote no on that? I don't know yet. I haven't got through that one. <laughs> I don't know I, I don't think I did that. I don't think it's I so that. funny. No, they tell us everything. <laughs> no, they're completely transparent. <laughs> God, I was not listening at all. <laughs> I mean, I saw them like a fool for a moment. That's oh, I stayed away, the fuck away from Facebook. I deleted my account and ghosted most of the people I knew. I think they think I died. Yeah, fuck Facebook. I deleted mine today just because I was like, I kept seeing dumb shit. Like, I'm all for, like, the one that bugged me today was like, I'm all for, like, hunting and stuff, you know? Like, yeah. It, like, if you're hunting for, you know, like, go get eat and then eat it. Yeah. But I'm killing elephants, I, like, yeah, just to take a picture. Trophy of it, hunting. Like, I don't yeah, agree with stupid. trophy hunting. That's and then I saw a bunch of people commenting, calling, like, you fucking snowflake liberals think that killing elephants is wrong. I was like, these people are fucking retarded. Yeah. <laughs> See, and that's awful, honestly. See, like, and I like... I like Facebook because I don't read that shit. I read all I watch, the comments. That's see, my that's problem. that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. I watch the videos, like, of random shit, and I'm using it for our podcast. I don't yeah. read anybody's yeah. shit unless it's on ours. Yeah. I'd like to bring up one more poll, though, yeah. at least. Yeah, I we can talk about polls. I just was yeah. saying why I do it. I'll Facebook. go through all of them for sure. There, there's this poll I'd like to mention here because I believe this poll here is kind of a two-pronged question, and okay. I think I need to further explain my answer. The question was, if you believe in other intelligent life in the universe, do you think 
they have visited our planet. There are two questions there. Do you believe in other intelligent life in the universe? My answer to that is yes. Right. I do believe somewhere in the universe there does exist <coughs> some sort, sort of intelligent yeah, life. Be, yeah. But what I am not as convinced of is that being so far away, potentially... Have they visited us? That have, Which that you would think would be the majority. Yeah. yeah. That, I feel like a lot of people just want to believe shit, honestly. Me too, that's but, how I am. Yeah, but that's fine. I mean... You know, I just kind of... Like, yeah. But I thought, isn't that one super high, too? I think so. Wasn't it, like, way higher? More people believe they've been here? And and here's another really interesting one that I can can attest to myself. Have you ever seen something in the sky you couldn't explain? 85% yes, I was one of them. I went outside at the beach one time, and I was seeing something in the sky that I had no idea what it was. And it would keep going away and coming back. Huh. Yeah. And... I was very confused as to what it was. I uh, I I I've done that, Yaro. Do some DMT. You've done some... DMT. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I have I have tried it. Allegedly. allegedly <laughs> I've allegedly tried it. <laughs> yeah. All the times I've called God a baby back bitch, I've yet to have any uh, reprimed on any account aside from getting banned from Facebook. So I'm not convinced any of it is real. I'm yeah. also with you on that, Yaro. Me too. Do you remember when we went to... I've said some really bad shit about God. We went to Wendover happened. one time. We got a flat tire. And I was like, fuck you, God, you piece of shit. <laughs> and then I won $1,000 in Wendover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, That's like, I was like, if God is real, he just wants someone to call him on his bullshit. Right? He, he wants, he wants he us... to be checked. He needs <laughs> to be checked by force. He's like, thank you. Here's a thousand bucks. I saw this funny <laughs> picture. It was like a... You know the meme where it's like you say something and then you get a message from like the FBI or the Vatican. Or <laughs> yeah, it's anyway, the FBI. It, this girl was like, uh, um, <laughs> "Why does God hate me? Because I'm gay? If He created me gay or something like that?" <laughs> and it said that it was like a message from the Vatican. And it was like, "Don't move, we're coming to get you" or something <laughs> oh like that. Oh God! <laughs> I found the one insult that can get my dad. That can get to my dad a couple of days ago. I called him a snowflake. He said, you want to walk home? <coughs> walk home. So then I said, just like a liberal snowflake, to kick someone out of the <laughs> conversation so they can't argue a point. He's a very conservative fellow. That's how my dad is, too. My dad's, my dad definitely voted for Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> and he lied to my mom about it. Huh? <laughs> he, said he, he said he voted for Evan McMullen. But he did not. <laughs> this one I found kind. Of, this poll I found kind of interesting. Uh, have you ever ex- experienced paranormal activity? Twenty-eight votes and uh, eighteen people said yes. Damn, we gotta talk to those. Yeah, many, I how wanted, many people said no? Ten. So still pretty like close, but <laughs> yeah, still yeah. almost double on the yes. <laughs> well, so uh, you should start talking shit on the people by their answers. Right. <laughs> Messages them. Just at everybody. For yeah, their... just like, I don't believe you. You've seen spooky ghosts, you bitch. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking doubt. <laughs> just being a dick. <laughs> oh, fuck. What other pulls have you done? Um, the one he said, have you ever seen something in the sky you couldn't explain? That'd be a no for me. I've never seen any shit in the sky. I have. If you were at the beach with me, (laughs) you'd be like, fuck. I've never been there. 18 people saw the movie Paranormal Activity and misread the (laughs) question. (laughs) Maybe. What other ones have you done? Um... I might get in there and start doing pulls. You're like, what the fuck? (laughs) Would you fuck Forrest? They're both going to be yes. (laughs) Yes and maybe. Oh, this one kind of, this one surprised me. Should humans keep developing and researching artificial intelligence? 71% said yes. I said no on that one. I said no. (laughs) I would have said no. I don't believe I voted. 53 people, or 52 people, 37 said yes. Fuck these robots, man. I've seen Terminator. <laughs> right? Yeah. I've seen Terminator. Fucking Skynet. Yeah. Well, we had some conversation on that one. I put. I really thought this poll was going to be a majority no. I've seen Terminator and iRobot all pass. <laughs> and then I was like, but for real, there's been two AI who started talking to each other and created a language we couldn't understand. I don't like the idea one bit. Uh, someone put yeah, on there. scary. Working a little in the field, I voted yes, but I also think it's really a scary <coughs> subject. You guys should check out Our Final Invention by James Barrett. I'll have to check that out. 
Yeah, sounds interesting. <laughs> this person who wants to come on the show, he said, it's becoming too much. They've created an AI toilet and dildo. <laughs> hmm. Who said that? Uh, Dustin. Fade Sumption voted yes for artificial intelligence. Oh. I, think I, I think I may have voted yes as well. To, does it say on there? Oh, uh, what? Do, like, I'm just curious. What do you guys think? Like, why we should keep doing it? Well, Aaron's no, and I'm. I, yes, I, right? I say no, because uh, I don't want robots. Yeah, I see Faith's. Um, robots are. I don't see yours now. Oh, really? Robots can fuck up the job market really, <laughs> very easily. Like, I know Fucking that's... assholes. They took our yeah, jobs. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, robots don't have feelings. <laughs> yeah. They don't have bills to pay. Who yeah. Like, fuck them. Like, I think we've dabbled enough. We know that we can do it. But human egos are like, no, I'm going to well, take it so far. Well, okay. Can a self-driving car be considered artificial intelligence? It's a robot of, of its own kind. Um, I guess, I guess it probably but, could, but I'm thinking Aeon... AI, uh, AI on the lungs of like, you know, like you see in the movies. AI. Like. See, and I, I, for me, I think it depends on where we stop, because at what point are we going to start having like, people who see these AIs as humans, and now these AI should also have, you know, goddamn rights. They should have <laughs> rights. You no, know, no. Have freedoms and not be programmed like. If we get to that point, then we're you know our population's already out of control. Yeah. Did you see about Alexa? Is she the one who's like kind of like a person? It's the Amazon speaker one, and it, yeah, it's kind of like. Oh and it's no, been, I'm, I'm talking about something else. Oh, the robot, like the actual robot. Yeah, she own. got or she got citizenship in Dubai. But Alexa, the Amazon one, has been just randomly laughing. Oh, that's like crazy. some guy said he like there's videos maybe I can find it real quick but the one of them the guy was slain in his bed and it's the creepiest laugh it's like a it's not like a robot laugh it's like ha 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 and then like it just has been randomly doing this and they have no idea why so like it's starting to take off itself and they kind of yeah it's fucking weird I just I look at it this way like I think it how how nice would it be though if we all had like me you and know, artificial intelligent robot in our house that did all the bullshit that we either don't have time or don't want to do but at what point are we like is it fair for us to create that type of robot well if you're expensive if if it's really expensive and you're rich and you can afford to do it then I say why not well let's say mass population like let's say it's a thousand dollars everyone could probably buy one yeah wait so what is it like uh Kind of like the Fallout robot oh, before that. Fallout happens. Yeah. Like, he just is around your household, and he helps you, you know. I'm all for AI sex robots that you can turn off. <laughs> you turn off. <laughs> like, all right, bitch, time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> Cook mode initiated. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Where is it? I just want to hear it, because it's a creepy fucking laugh. But... Oh, it says scroll down for video. Oh, right? uh, fuck. Scroll down, okay. I don't know if it's at the very bottom. Oh, this has got to be it. Yeah. Let's wait for that to load. Is citizenship. It? Oh, my hell, yeah. Yeah, they <laughs> gave citizenship to that robot that you're talking about. Dubai. Yeah, they did. It was, it was in Sweden. I think it was Dubai. Dubai? I think it was a couple, wasn't it? Didn't get a couple yeah. places? Yeah. <laughs> that one's crazy. <laughs> I just want to hear the fucking laugh. <laughs> Cause it's so creepy. You what, salty Frank? I saw that. What do you say? Let's scroll up a little. Most AI is self-learning. Yarl's the best efficient way to learn, or to make them. Not learn. that one. Oh, there was something else up a up a little bit. I mean, what? No. <laughs> they also make a remote-controlled vibrator that your partner can program what it does, and the vibrator learns from that. Wow. There's Sex a robot that transform into a toaster? No thanks. I don't want my baby to have butter in its in my bread. I have butter in my bread. God damn it. <laughs> There's a guy on Twitch I watch and every once in a while he'll just smile at the camera and press his phone and we all know what it means. It's those remote parties for his wife and his wife is uh, fine. And when he come when she comes home, all you hear in the background is fuck you. That's kind of funny. <laughs> well, this video just doesn't want to load. YouTube it, dude. <coughs> I'll try my best. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, who is that guy talking? I don't know. It kind of creeped me out. All right, YouTube it is. 
Mm. How high or how allegedly well do the vape pens work? Too well. <laughs> Uh, some of them, at least. Uh, they're pretty good. <laughs> yeah. They're, what? I, I feel they're not with the, with the uh, the they're uh, less cost effective. Yeah. Exactly. Really? Mm-hmm. The one I had the one time, like I was just smoking it like nonstop, like I was smoking a knee cig. Yeah. And before I knew it, I was just like, oh fuck. Yeah, I've only. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you I, will get like that. Yeah, I've <laughs> only had one experience with it, and it was like a a super expensive one. It was the same one you're probably yeah, talking yeah. about, and. Same thing, like, I didn't know. I thought I was smoking a vape with just, like, a weird flavor. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> like an hour later, I was like, wow, this nicotine's yeah. strong. Yeah, yeah whoa, this nicotine's putting me on the fucking ground. Yeah. <laughs> like, these, you can't taste anything at all. It just tastes like a sweet fruit a lot of the time, you know? And yeah. Yeah, not so much right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you. Alexa, replay. <laughs> it just does that when people are sleeping. <laughs> That's fucking weird. <laughs> Alexa, Alexa I love you. <laughs> Alex- yeah, it's so fucking weird though. Why is it laughing just randomly? Yeah, that's like really a lot of people say that they don't even ask anything. They're just laying there or walking and ha ha ha. Oh, so here's the, do you think the government hides information from us? The two people, two people voted no. I'm not going to at them, because I don't know (laughs) if they're just trolling or not. Let me see. (laughs) I don't know any one of them. Yeah. Actually, I do know one of them. And I think. Wait, let me see. I think that the one that starts with the K is like, be serious. Yeah, I do too. (laughs) I thought there was someone else on the bottom. Wow. I can't imagine anybody (laughs) thinking seriously about that. They're just like. No way. And this person brings a good point in the comment section of this one. I think the general public wouldn't be able to handle a lot of the news they keep from us. Ignorance is bliss for a lot of small-minded folk. Kind of agree. <laughs> yeah. But for us who aren't small-minded folk, I don't want people to hide shit from us. Yeah, honestly. like, <laughs> I love Chaz's post. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> this is Jim Carrey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah. 99% yes on that one. I got pee again. Man, that's what I'm surprised I have to pee sooner. Drink a 40. Oh, here's one. Do you think conspiracies help or hurt our society? 47 votes. 34 people said help. Did I vote in that one? You, so Aaron said no. Or hurt. <coughs> I think I was... I think I was trolling. And... Well, I don't really think either way, honestly. You said help. I said they help? Yeah. I think I would have said that they help because it presents another way of looking at things other than the original story. Right, it keeps people thinking. Yeah, like, I don't necessarily (coughs) believe many of them, but, like, there are some official stories to certain events that sound undoubtedly fishy to me. Yeah, 9-11. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there are a lot of a lot of questionable things in the, in the whole 9-11 yeah. uh, official story. I don't, I don't know why I voted hurt on that. Like, I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't really believe that, but I do think that sometimes they're obviously bullshit. And yeah. Certain people <laughs> take them way too far and make them just get a bad reputation and make them... Like the flat earth. Shit. Yeah, I think I have seen, yeah, the fire suits. Bullshit, some stupid yeah. shit. Do you guys watch Chaz's YouTube channel where he talks a lot about paranormal shit? Yeah, I shared one of his uh, videos he did on Facebook. I saw the Facebook one you shared, but yeah. that's it. Yeah, I think I've seen like two of them. <laughs> I've only seen that one we watched in Morgan's room the other day. I'm a grown ass man. Tell me what's up with that? With like people hiding information? Yeah. Uh-huh. The government has even said that they're going to retain information. They absolutely hurt. Why do you think that, Salty? I think that it's good for people to, you know, have... Uh, yeah, I could see, like, to a certain point they could hurt, but... Yeah. At some point, it's like... Like, some of them are going to hurt, some of them are going to help. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's definitely 50-50. But... Yeah, because some of them, it's like... This conspiracy definitely is pretty real. 
Right. Yeah. Especially when they're just like really shady situations. Uh huh. The only thing that the, media. the thing that I have with conspiracy theories though is the fact that it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Like if true. we we could talk about nine eleven being fake and the JFK assassination being bullshit, like how they wrote it, and the Vegas shooting being a conspiracy and all this type of stuff, but in reality, it doesn't matter. Until you know? 80 years down the road, and they're like, oh, turns out the government covered this up. Well, right, and then at that point, like, it's still No one gives matter. a fuck. Yeah, yeah. like, well, something's okay. about right. Like, we hear about shit they covered up back then. Yeah, exactly, all the time, like, constant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're like, eh, nothing they can do about it. Because there have been people arrested and lost jobs on fake conspiracies. True, Salty. True. I know Chaz would never lie yeah, or make true. stuff up about paranormal mm-hmm. stuff, and so it totally creeps me out. Yeah, I agree. I don't think he's one to come up with <coughs> fake stories. I don't know. To be honest, I, <laughs> I have a hard time finding the credibility. I, I'm sorry, but I I'm, I would have to be there and witness the things that he's witnessing. In me order too. To like, to I like him a lot. I'm not saying he's a liar by any no, means. No, yeah, me too. But I'm like... Saying. When he was telling us about the red hand, I was like, ooh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, like, I'm not trying to, like, you know, talk Yeah, shit I can understand it. keeping a skeptic yeah. look, but I like to think that people... Me too, like, like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not just like, he sounds like a genuine guy, and, like, yeah. maybe, you know, he definitely yeah. saw what he saw, but I would like to see it for myself, like right. you yeah, said. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. There are some people out there, though, who I believe just spread paranormal stories just to, you know, get yeah. a rise yeah. out of you. Yeah. So I, know, I know Chaz pretty well, and he's, like, a pretty serious person. Though. Yeah. I, I, I think that, like... See, and I, I don't didn't... I, don't, I really don't want to say anything bad about him. Like, whether or not what what it is is, like, real, I think he probably does experience it to some yeah. degree. Yeah. And, like, you know, like, YouTubers have to kind of play shit up. Yeah. Just, like, and be kind of overdramatic. Stuff. Oh, for sure. So, like, I, I don't know. People who actually know him might see that and be like, huh, yeah. But, like, I don't know. That's yeah. what you're saying. I don't. I don't mind the videos. Like, I think it's cool just doing the videos. Yeah, good for him. And he and I also saw something about how he uh, got accepted in some to work on some film or something. Yeah, shit. I saw that. That's cool. That's just, cool. Yeah, good for him. Which is awesome. You did tell us about the preschool thing, salty. I talk mad shit about the kind of that kind of stuff, and generally don't believe in that shit. But even I have that one story. I'm just like, what the fuck was that? I'm curious about that story. Yeah, Yarl, tell us. Yeah, the biggest poll that we've had, do you think the government taps into our conversation? 143 votes. 91% said yes. Wait, tap into our phone? Is that what it says? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> or no, taps into our conversation. Oh, okay. okay, how many voted no? Um, of the 143, 13. I think I was on the no, the no list on that one. I hope they watch. Yeah, They're going to see are. a whole lot yeah. of me. I believe that the government does do that <laughs> if they have probable cause to... Yeah, like if you find or just any, just or if you do it, I do, and just start saying Muhammad Jihad bomb kill yeah, Trump. Yeah, you do stuff like that. <laughs> you're, you're much but more I'll, and then they're like ping. tweeting shit about like killing Trump and shit. Like that yeah, could, then I'll send you get, get you investigated. Yeah. They're like, wow, we just got some, we just got the code words. Oh, weird. My Facebook just closed because of that. Thanks, dude. <laughs> the trigger words <laughs> closed your Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you're be, you're on a list now, dude. God damn it. <laughs> No, but, yeah, like, if they want to watch my camera or something, most of it's just going to be real close up of me, like, porn just beating my meat, so. Right. <laughs> like, wow, seventh time today. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and not watch him anymore. See, it's interesting because I, I'm I'm on the fence with it. I think you're more right. I think that it's not. I highly doubt with how many people there are that, they, they can't just listen to everyone's conversations, nor do they care. Exactly. And they don't even care about people who are like, they're not going to tap into drug dealers. Or like, they're not going to yeah, type yeah, in like, like, especially like, small like, time. Your local yeah. weed dealer who sells you like an eighth, like, they don't give a yeah. fuck. For, yeah. for example, yeah, like the pirates. Joe Rogan was talking about, the guy that broke into the White House and ran around. Yeah. He got pulled over like two days before, had a map of the White House, a gun, like. The whole trunk is full of ammunition, and the cops just let him go. And then two days later, he ran. There was a woman guard, which everyone laughs about, like this tiny little chick. Like, not because she's a woman, but this tiny little girl's guarding the front door of the White House. Yeah. And he just ran up, shoved her down, and ran around the White House with a knife. God. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a funny story. Wow. But no, but then, like, so I don't think they're going to, like, listen in on, like, fucking 
low key like drug dealers yeah. or people who are causing like small crimes. Yeah, just and like sh- shady people. Yeah, yeah. and then there's people yeah. like forced and to terrorism. do it intentionally. <laughs> like, terrorism. And then yeah. they're like just going to go out and like, ah, just forced again. Yeah. <laughs> it should, like, how many people do you think troll it? Tons. Yeah. yeah. So where do you like, you know that they're just listening to like random, like, like they have like probably a algorithm where it picks up on like, Long sentences of shit that's like, oh, these people might be plotting something. Like, do you remember serious. that Will Smith movie that came out like late nineties? Mm-hmm. Um, was it? I can't remember what it's called. Is it Independence Day? No. It's a, <laughs> uh, he's like the government. And it's talking about the government and they they have code words that. Take, oh yeah. I can't remember what movie it is. He's running. Cause he got proof about something. I can't remember exactly what it's about, but see, Yarl says there's a place here in South Carolina called. Awella Island. Me and my dad were just chilling on the beach. He was a little tipsy, but I was sober because I well I don't drink. We were sitting. Damn it. We were sitting in a car, and all of a sudden. Oh, we were sitting in the car with the doors open, having some coffee, enjoying the weather. All of a sudden, we both see the really tall, this really tall black guy on the hood. With tall the guy hood on. All black. Uh, oh, this is really tall <laughs> black guy. <laughs> I just oh, news this shit. Damn, I'm seem racist. Damn, dude. <laughs> this tall black guy. Really tall black guy. Shit. Okay, you can read it. Now. Tall guy in all black with a hood on. <laughs> you could hear chains rattling, but we didn't think nothing of it because it was windy and there was a property that could have had chains. We don't know. Anyway, the tall dark figure rolls right by the car and stops about ten feet in front of the car as if it goes by the car there's no footprints in the sand you can't see any feet but the outfit isn't touching the ground it's literally like it's floating that's weird and this was a week after I almost died so we both figured it was the Grim Reaper because when we turned around there was no face that's pretty pretty fucking creepy Jarl alien nope Jesus Jesus Christ the man himself or was it the Holy Ghost my favorite is how um, there's like the p- memes. It's like, hey, God, it's me, you. Yeah, <laughs> it's me, you. Just, just Jesus. Well, and see, so with that poll as well, people were saying, this person said no, but Facebook, Snapchat, and Google do. I can confirm that for sure that they do because, like, we'll be talking about shit on the podcast and I'll and go home and, like, ads. yeah, I'll start seeing ads and stuff. Yeah. You're like, well, that's not suspicious. That's though. weird. Yeah. Freaked me out. The time we had now are 17. Listen here, Joe's Piggy. Don't call me a bitch, bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How are you tonight, Joe's Piggy? We can go like 10 more minutes if you guys want, unless you guys want to go longer. I just don't know how tired you guys are all. 10 more minutes is sounds good to me. Yeah, it sounds okay. good to me too, for sure. Okay. But uh, what other? Is that the only pulls you do? Yeah. Well, I mean, I just started, like, a little while ago. I mean, I've been trying to think of some good ones I want people's answers of. Yeah. Oh, like, the one I didn't talk about was the JFK assassination. Oh, did you ask that? Yeah. Because there's some stuff know. I'm really curious about, like, what people think, you know? Yeah. Cause, like, I talk to, like, guys like you guys that like, come on the podcast, but other than yeah. that, it's like... So I, I asked, is there more to the JFK assassination than the media portrayed? Most people voted yes on that, right? Yeah. 31 said yes, 3 said no. Yeah. Who said no? <laughs> <Yeah>. Matt. Uh, <laughs> and those Why two. did you vote no? Well, I, I've looked into the story again recently, and what I know of it is that supposedly Lee Harvey Oswald was the one who uh, attempted to assassinate the president. Right. Yeah. And he died before he could be put on trial for doing so. Right. 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 And yeah, that's true. That's just something that I don't see as being that suspicious you know that that happens all the time people yeah. die before they can go on trial for a crime but like, what is suspicious is there was like the magic bullet the magic bullet a and 25 or 30 other people who were associated with jfk that died that also died around him after he got assassinated like they were trying to cover up people's spewing information about what really happened that is suspicious yeah and the magic bullet's the big thing that that whatever bullet one shot apparently hit or was it? it was like one or two or yeah, something. It was two yeah. shots because JFK got hit twice, but one of them went into the car and hit four different people, and they were sitting like this. And bullets don't 
Yeah, they don't, don't do that. that. Yeah, so that's, that's a, why people think there's multiple shooters in that. Yeah. But, but who knows? Like, he was like, probably definitely at least part of Lee Harvey Oswald. It's like, there's yeah, almost was, no doubt that he was definitely had a game yeah. shooting at the president. Yeah. So. Man, watching the video, though, is wild. Oh, yeah, yeah. it is. You because can see fucking, what's his wife's name? Jackie. Jack, she's yeah. trying to put his fucking brains back yeah. in his head. Like, scooping up his skull. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, it's nasty. <laughs> And you can just see him, like, get shot, and his head, like, bounces back, and you just see her, like... She's like, ah, and, like picks up his head. Like, scoops it. <laughs> I'm like, ugh. That'd be extremely traumatizing. Do you guys remember who was in the car? Oh, I don't very calm I one. I just know it was him, his wife, the driver, and then I don't know who was in the passenger. The God and Jesus being the same person is actually not how the Bible was written. Concentration. Constant. Or yeah, Constantine. whatever, Constantine. Oh. Constantine rewrote it to make a uh, confusing to make money adding the whole Trinity thing. <laughs> oh. You're right, Salty. Yeah, and that was a big thing. Is <laughs> people like to fucking rewrite the Bible back in the day to make it more confusing. So they like, have to hire people to come. We gotta add some selling the points. Bible. <laughs> like, do you want to make this Bible real good? If God, if Jesus Christ was three different people, right? <laughs> he was God and the Holy Ghost. Let's make him turn water, and you know, he's like, "Do you want to be really good? If this water was actually wine, he's like, let's make Jesus make, do that." Wes, you've got the babyest back of all the baby back bitches. <laughs> you guys remember who? Oh, yeah, Ricocheting Bolts is. I sent a video of a news anchor killing herself on live television. I have. I, I've seen that as well. She's <laughs> really <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, that one's wild as shit. Have you guys seen the video of that um, teacher at this, or that, I think he was like CIA or something, doing gun and like, in talking about the gun at school and he shoots himself in the leg yeah. in front of the whole oh, class? No, I haven't He's seen like, that. He's like, this is a gun, this is how it works and stuff. And it's oh, like, God, you have to send me that. I've he's supposed to be, that. let's see if I can find it. He's supposed to be like some super, like, high, like, you know, high level instructor and he shoots himself. <laughs> <laughs> Another one you told me about was Bud Dwyer. Yeah, yeah the guy who, um, he was like some political figure. Oh, one of them must have... Yeah, I saw that too. One of them shot themselves in the head. It was a... Go on, sorry. Political uh, he, Yeah, yeah. He was like a political dude that got accused of something. And I think he was later found out to be innocent, but he killed himself on live television. Like, so, oh! Someone handed him an envelope. And then oh, 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 oh. Puts it in his mouth and just... Yeah. And then you just see just blood rushing down from his nose. And yeah, I saw that one. Too. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the one. Just this week, We're just watching a video, guys. I'll link it to you after. A young boy, not even 16 years old, was killed because he was playing with a gun. And see, this is the unloaded gun. Right here. <laughs> this is an unloaded gun. That's not. No, that I know of to carry this block for it. I'm the only No, is everybody alright? <laughs> oh, God. You alright? <laughs> What's he saying? I'm trained enough to carry this gun. Too short. All of them talk about Glock 40. Okay, I'm the only one in this room professional enough that I know of to carry this Glock 40. I'm the only one in this room professional enough that I know of to carry this Glock 40. I'm the only one in this room. That is so bad. I almost feel like that's gotta be fake. Shoots himself in the I, uh, I uh, hope it. Shoots himself. <laughs> I he hope it. Himself. That reminds me of the gun instructor video where he's where he teaching people how to do it. And he's like, and so you just go like this, <laughs> and then somebody's like, "Did you mean to do that?" And he's like, "Yeah." <laughs> oh yeah, that one's great. <laughs> yes. Love that one. Uh, here I can. Oh fuck. Hey, thanks for the host, Josby. It's Wesley, I'm getting Xbox Live next month. I challenge you to fight me in Dark Souls if we can. You're gonna get fucked up, Joe's Piggy. Catch these hands. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking funny. Taco Hello. Man. What's up, Taco Man? Love me. We already love you, Taco Man. You're going to give us tacos one day. Yeah, you like tacos. I like tacos. You're a man. I'm a man. You know? You like 181. You know, it's a pretty cool number, so. Yeah. 181 <laughs> is a good number. 81. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good number. Not as good as 182. Yeah. 182 <laughs> is more yeah. common. Yeah, yeah. 182 is known. It's more than 181. <laughs> He's yeah. like, eh, I'm not quite good enough to be in Blink 182. <laughs> right. But I am Taco Man 181. <laughs> Bat Boy, you're going to catch these hands. <sighs> Joe's Piggy. 
I want to see you just kick the <laughs> shit out of a little kid. Like, why would I do that? <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um. So here's a good conversation that we can close the podcast on. Okay. Do you guys believe in luck? Ooh. Uh, definitely. In terms of just circumstance, being at the right place at the right time, if you consider that luck, definitely so. And s- same goes with the opposite of luck, misfortune. Being at the wrong place in the wrong time. I think that things are very coincidental in life. So do you think that they're so coincidental that it could be all written already? Because we've had that conversation on the podcast before. And it, like, I didn't believe. And then we started talking about it. And I'm like, ooh, my brain's getting well, that a little brings up, That brings up the free will discussion. And in yeah. a way, I, I do not believe in free will. I do believe that there's like a sort of predestiny for everything even though it, we we have the illusion of free will I don't really believe in free will and there's a great Sam Harris speech on that and he, he really dives further into the concepts I like Sam Harris right so yeah, what like what do you think book. or what made you think of that opinion was it like a do you believe in like a religious type of way that that's why it's predestined no absolutely not no it's, it's the opposite of that it like it, if if evolution is true in the way that people like Richard Dawkins and Sam Harris describe, then that would sort of in and of itself mean that there's sort of a predestiny for everything because, you know, somebody's just going to go somewhere. Like, it, when you have a thought come into your mind, like, that's not you generating that thought. That's just a thought happening and you acting on it based on what your body decides. You know? Right. Like, that's kind of why I don't believe in it. Mm. Hmm. What about you, Aaron? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with Matt, but I don't know. I, I, like, I guess people can be born into lucky lives, but, it, like, if you're a complete dumbass, you're still going to have a pretty bad life because you're just going to fuck shit up. That's another good point to cover. But, uh, um, at the same time, like, if you're born into shitty circumstances and you, like, are also a dumbass and fuck shit up, then it's just gonna be, like, a lot worse. So, like, I think luck is very real in a way. Like, I don't believe in luck in the sense of, like, this is my lucky penny type yeah. shit. Yeah. But, like, yeah, I think that some people are very lucky. Like, there's no denying that there are lucky people in the world to me. Definitely. Yeah, that makes good sense yeah what about you do you guys believe in it uh yes and no see I'm still torn like I'm still I can't give you an opinion on the everything being predetermined cause yeah. I just I haven't gave myself what I truly believe in it yet I lean more towards no because I would like to think that my life isn't predetermined but that's just me yeah. being like kind of selfish we would all like to think that yeah, yeah. We'd all like to think that. that's why I don't like we have people who come in and talk about how there's, you know, a lot of people think that there's going to be some sort of afterlife, but I think that's kind of selfish too. Mm-hmm. Cause like, I don't think there's going to be, yeah. you yeah. know, but anyways, with luck. Yeah, I think so. Like the odds are just crazy for some people. Like yeah. you can't pick which family you're born into. Like yeah, you said, definitely. and you <laughs> definitely can be born into. Yeah. There's family. some real lucky fucks. Yeah. <laughs> God damn bastards. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> but at the same time, having that kind of luck, though, it, it makes you... I don't know. I don't think you're as... Tell what's the word I want to use without sounding super offensive. I don't think it builds a character? person. Yeah. yeah. If you They're get real experience. fucking boring. Yeah, if you have the silver spoon treatment. Yeah. You might be able to go do all these things because of, you know, wealth. You might be able to go travel the world, but... You're never going to experience like that. Like, if you guys ever saved up for something for so long and you finally get it and you're like, this is fucking mine. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, that is like one of the best feelings ever. And I think Yarl Krim can attest to that, what he was telling us the other day. Oh, yeah. Like, when you just save up so much and it's finally yours. But, uh, I don't know. Luck's an interesting one. I think misfortune is true too. Like, you know, I believe in that after I got in a car accident, you know. I just happened to be driving that one area of the exactly. road, and, and they, that person just, just happened, happened to fuck to up. Yeah. You know, it like sucks. couldn't couldn't plan it. You know, mm-hmm. so that's why I definitely think there's luck. Like, 
we didn't we go to Wendover all the time. I know gambling and luck is like the two most basic bitch things you can combine together, but like Yeah. You know. It's luck that you walk up to a machine and put five dollars in and make two grand. Is Forrest lucky? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's gambling for sure. Sometimes, sometimes not so much. Yeah. I'm weird, like I'm superstitious, like I don't believe in like anything. Yeah. But like I'm superstitious like super well, fuck whatever I just said now I can't talk <laughs> superstitious yep superstitious <laughs> yep superstitious. that's the word <laughs> about certain things though like if something really bad happens to me and I'm wearing like a ring or a t-shirt like I'm afraid to wear it again cause yeah. I'm like what if that shirt is associated yeah. With it. yeah so like sure. stuff like that I don't know but I don't know I, I would like to think so right but you know like everyone's like you're so lucky but it's like yeah, but you don't see half the bad shit that happens to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> uh, my friends tell me I was lucky for I'm like, fuck you. Man. Yeah, you've <laughs> only seen the good stuff happen, so. <laughs> don't worry, talk about man, 181. I think 181 is better than 182. So I've been thinking really hard on types of languages and how would they have been translated if everyone already spoke and wrote their own languages. How did they know... How did they do, how did it, how did they do, who did it, but it stumped me, so I Googled it, and I don't remember what happened. That's the thing, is a lot of people didn't know how to write or read their own language back in those times. <laughs> <coughs> so the people who would retranslate the Bible, they'd make it even more confusing for the common folk to not understand, so they'd have to pay someone to come and Yeah, have and this guy's like, oh, that's probably what this says. All right. <laughs> Predestiny for everything is the eventual heat death of the universe. It's a good point. That it's like, we already know how the world's going to end. Me when I hear death. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm. But at the same time, I feel like there's balance in everything. No matter how lucky the circumstances of your birth, it all comes back full circle at some point. That's true in a way, but... Some people just have, like, no life or, like, die when they're, like, four or five. Like, I don't know. Just right. piggy. Gambling, I don't think, is a bunch of math. I walk up, put money in the machine, push a button, and I win money. <laughs> That's not gambling. Yeah. That's not, not math. Gambling, like I did no counting or math. Cards or whatever. But yeah, yeah, cards can be math, yeah. but definitely not machines. No. I can't believe in luck. Even if I want to, it depresses me too much. Yeah. But yeah, we can call on that note. Yeah, for sure. Good little. This is a way good one too. So. I really enjoyed this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was good to see you guys again. Oh yeah, yeah. Always. always a pleasure. Thank you for coming and guys watching. We'll switch over to some gaming. You can follow our Instagrams every or whatever fucking social medias are below. YouTube, check out uh, these guys is on SoundCloud. What's your yeah. SoundCloud link? Star oh. Valley Crew. Here I can. Uh, I'll hurry and link Star it real Valley quick. Crew. That'd be great. Not Claude. Clud. <coughs> Sound Clud. Is it, did you say slash Star Valley Crew? Yeah. I was surprised it wasn't still in there. I know. Bali. <laughs> same, same Bollywood. We're not ending Joe's Piggy. We're just going to switch over to gaming, my dude. Oh, uh, well, I didn't mean to do that, but I didn't mean to hit enter. It was just a habit. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> and back. Boom, 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 boom. But yeah, we're gonna do some gaming now. But cool. if you guys want to follow these guys, make sure you check out their SoundCloud. Follow them on SoundCloud. 1.2 million views on one of their songs. Yeah, so check them the fuck out, guys. Lots of good stuff to come. And yeah. everyone listening that's not live with us right now, like he said, soundcloud.com slash Star Valley Crew. So check them out. Yeah, if you're on the iTunes and don't get to look at our pretty mugs. And thank you for the cosign. Oh, no, no, no worries. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, so we're going to call that for tonight. All right. And then, good. yeah, that was, that was good. Thank you for having us. All right. Goodbye, stream. Yeah, thank you.